My last video didn't really end on a positive note, so I want to liven things up just a bit. What if I said there's a little computer specifically made for audio that acts as a music server, room core, NAS drive, streamer, is sleek, cool, carries the power of a Mac mini with silent and cool to the touch operation, and is solely controlled by a mobile app? Too good to be true? Not anymore. I found my new source, guys, and I cannot wait to tell you about it. Stay tuned. Greetings friends, and welcome back to Audio Architects. I'm Mike, your friendly neighborhood hi-fi journalist. Before we begin, I wanted to share something special with you. I launched my new clothing shop, the Hi-Fi Trading Company. All the designs are inspired by audio, and I feel like I have the largest selection this side of the Mississippi. So I will provide the link to the shop in the description below. I encourage you to check it out because the goal of this project is to maintain the channel since I don't do the Patreon thing and just shamelessly take your money. So your support would be greatly appreciated because in this way, this way there's an exchange of goods and services. So when Silent Angel approached me about doing a review, I almost sent it to spam because I get a lot of companies sending me offers for products to review, which usually end up being cheaply made, poor performance products. I'm personally staying away from things like that, so far, far away. But something told me, though, about this Silent Angel thing. Open the email. I'm so glad I did. I quickly discovered that Silent Angel is a brand created by Thunder Data Company Limited, a tech company that focuses mainly on developing innovative technology using quality components, modern aesthetics, and providing an incredibly user-friendly, you know, consumer-centric, experience with their product offerings. So they chose the increasingly popular networking and streaming audio niche of hi-fi products since they personally come from an IT background. If the digital revolution continues as it has, this is a massive, massive market for them. Most audio enthusiasts have gravitated towards streaming and ripping the flack, which saddens me because I am a CD fan. As with everything, I was skeptical if this source would live up to their opinion of it, so I agreed to take a look at a few of their products to get a better feel for them and the brand and just everything in general. I love when parent companies, though, manifest projects in the hi-fi world and specialize in products that complement their particular skill set. Just as Thunder Data specializes in networking devices, it took that passion and now provides audio files with several solutions within the streaming power and networking classes of products. Today, we will focus on the Rain, Rain, Rain or Rhine, Rain, I'm gonna say Rain, Z1 V2. After unboxing the unit, I noticed it was exceptionally well built and came in a heavy duty, what Silent Angel calls an aerospace industrial grade aluminum alloy enclosure. That sounds so, actually that sounds so exciting. It's definitely built like a tank. I love this one bit in their marketing copy on their website. They call it as firm as a fortress. I love it firm as a fortress. I can get behind that. The metal alloy is CNC'd beautifully with a smooth top featuring their cool logo right in the center. I don't see any screws or bolts to enter the unit though. I'm only guessing they're 
cleverly hidden underneath that rubber surround on the bottom, you know, to give the support where it sits. So I, I think they're there. The sides have a creative ridge design that sets it apart from that boring, flat, plain boxes that we're accustomed to. They use a fanless technique that utilizes the whole upper case as a heat sink. On the rear of the unit, there's a 12 volt power input for the included adapter. However, I am trying to see about the possibility of testing their F2 linear power supply to see if it improves anything really. So as it comes, I feel this company by name alone is very centric around reducing noise. Uh, following the power input, there is an ethernet port since this unit can only be hardwired. So I put my TP-Link travel router to good use since it piggybacks off my home's wireless connection to create a wired output. Luckily, I have blazing fast internet, which is the one utility I don't mind paying a premium for. Let's take a deeper look at the features and I will share my overall experience after that. My particular unit came with a 250 gigabyte SSD drive, mainly to house the operating system called VidOS. There are other configurations out there, but you do have the option to select one terabyte and two terabyte SSD drives for data disks. You can run up to two simultaneous zones for multi-room streaming applications, and it can function as a NAS drive, which is huge. It also came with 16 gigs of RAM, which is more than enough to run the operating system. Now, VidOS is a custom Linux-based operating system designed specifically for music players. So it's safe to say the gigabyte Ethernet speed, fast hard drive, and robust operating system is an excellent combination for music performance. Silent Angel claims the ultra-low CPU power consumption, only 6 watts, reduces electrical noise from the central processor and makes the signal transmission more stable. They built an absolute powerhouse in a brilliant design to optimize the unit's strength. I can imagine this engineering resulted from the many, many years in the IT industry that the creators of Silent Angel bring to the table. The unit is visually attractive and it looks impressive on paper. However, the question remains, how did it perform from start to music? And is it worth the $2,499 price tag when people can just go out and buy a NUC or another mini PC for a fraction of the cost? Let's find out. First things first, I downloaded the VidOS app to my Android phone. Once the interwebs were plugged into the unit via Ethernet, I fired up the app. Within maybe a minute, I was controlling the whole thing with just, just a mobile app. I updated the firmware, which did take a little time. After that, I was ready to connect via USB to the Holomay DAC. Now, I recently dove into researching USB cables and which is best when connecting a PC to a DAC. This could be a whole video in and of itself, but after studying the measurements available and discussing the subject with a couple of friends, specifically in the IT field, I felt it proper to go with just a regular USB cable at the shortest length possible to reduce the chances of inaudible noises. I found that the Z1 has a very clean and crisp sound when streaming through Kobas. What I thought was cool though is that this unit is a Rune core and a Rune bridge. This is ideal for me because I actively use Rune. Next, I attached my thumb drive holding most of my FLAC, well, pretty much all of my FLAC files. Rune played them flawlessly. Now, if you are interested in DLNA, it offers the technology via the built-in Mini-M server software. What is DLNA, you may ask? Digital Living Network Alliance, or DLNA certified devices, allow you to share content between other devices around your house over your home's Wi-Fi network. For example, you can set up your PC, or in this case your Rain Z1 V2, as a DLNA server and access music on capable devices. Many companies make Various DLNA certified devices like Blu-ray disc players, TVs, computers, smartphones, tablets, who knows how else, how much else. It also offers Spotify Connect and Apple AirPlay too. So to say that this device works well as a streamer and a solid music server is an understatement. I found the mobile app to be very easy to use. It's not flashy, it's robust, it's simple, and sometimes keeping it simple is just better. 
Now, it doesn't control the music. It allows the other apps to do the heavy lifting, which is fine by me because I am just now getting the hang of the Rune app and how it works. So for me, not having to fiddle with yet another app is fine by me. The sound quality through the Hollow May, and I tested it with the Denifrips Pontus 2 into my Lingdorf TDA i1120 integrated amp, and finally through a pair of Dali Oberon 3s, is just pure magnificence, guys. The noise floor on this machine is virtually non existent. I did read some people had issues with noise in their DACs. I never had that problem, so look into the DAC. The music was just clean, crisp, and beautiful. As the official ambassador of compact discs, which makes me cry, I never thought I would fall in love with a Z1. This machine does what it's meant to do though, and it does it exceptionally well. I'm sure many of you out there watching this are like, okay, Mike, come back down to reality, $24.99, when, when I can just go buy a NUC or a micro PC that will essentially do the same thing. Well, I disagree with that. I would say that there are we're at about 60% convenience, right? With a NUC or another PC, you must set everything up in Windows, which can take a while. You also have to listen to the cooling fans as well as not have the ease of a mobile app to literally control everything. Not to mention those PCs get hot after running a while. And they're just in Windows. Ugh. 20% is obviously performance. This, this, this unit in particular was specifically engineered and designed to play music. Every component was hand-picked to provide the best musical experience. The last 20% would have to be aesthetics. It just looks cool. And it runs silent and nice and cool to the touch. It's literally on all the time and you don't know it exists. Now, I know people who scoff at using a USB cable to listen to their music. And I'm here to tell you that this machine will outperform pretty much most, if not all, streamers I have heard in, around, above, and below its price class. Just remember, get a solid DAC, and this bad boy will play those DSD-256 files with elegance and authority. For that reason, guys, I am awarding this, this is the second time I'm doing this, I am awarding this the Audio Architects Gold Standard Award for overall excellence in design, engineering, innovation, and performance. It exceeded all expectations and will now be a staple within my signal chain. I'm looking forward to adding Silent Angel's network switch and linear power supplies into the system to see if it makes a difference in performance. But I can tell you that how it sits right now, I'm happy with the results. So anything better is just a plus. But we will leave this at a to be continued status and I will report back to you on the other components and how living with a Z1 improved my quality of life. Thank you all for joining me. If you're already subscribed, I thank you. If you are new to, to Audio Architects and like it so far, I encourage you to check out some of my other videos to see if my channel and my vibe, you know, are the right fit for you. And I would love for you to hit that thumbs up and end up subscribing to the channel and joining me on my voyage in hi-fi. Thank you guys again for spending some time with me today. Take care and we'll see you next time.